uh, recipients of both hematopoietic as well as solid organ transplant are at risk for Epstein-Barr virus-driven post-transplant lymphoproliferative disease, which is an essentially a virally driven malignant disease that happens in the absence of good immune control over the virus. And the standard first-line therapy for patients who have PTLD after hematopoietic transplant is rituximab. And after solid organ transplant, those patients can tolerate more varied therapy. And so increasingly, the standard is reduction in immune suppression, followed sequentially by rituximab and then chemotherapy if people have disease that fails to respond to rituximab. But for in both patient populations, for people who have disease that fails to respond to that first-line therapy, the median overall survivals are quite low. And in a recent 29 Center retrospective analysis that was presented at ASH, it demonstrated a median overall survival of just 0.7 months in hematopoietic transplant recipients with refractory PTLD and 4.1 months in solid organ transplant recipients refractory to PTLD, refractory to first line therapy. So it's really essential that these patients in both populations have alternative therapeutic options. And tabaluclicel is a T cell therapy that's been designed specifically to target EBV-infected cells, including EBV-PTLD.